സോമമെന്നാൽ ആകാശമെന്നർത്ഥം സോമനാഥൻ എന്നാൽ ആകാശത്തിന്റെ നാഥൻ ഐ എസ് ആർ ഒ ചെയർമാൻ എസ് സോമനാഥ് പേരുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ആകാശ സ്വപ്നങ്ങളുടെ നാഥനാണ് കോവളത്ത് ഹഡിൽ ഗ്ലോബലിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കാനെത്തിയ എസ് സോമനാഥ് സ്പേസ് മിഷനിൽ രാജ്യത്തിന്റെ സ്വപ്നങ്ങൾ ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ചാനലായം ഡോട്ട് കോമിനോട്ിൽ so some of the technologies which are required to do that we have been developing over the last many years and the second aspect is we have been looking at how that uh, whatever we develop will become useful for the nation in some ways or in the form of the applications and also do that in very very controlled budget i won't say it's a very less budget but it's a significant budget but in a very controlled manner so that it doesn't do a waste so all this i really paid off in the last 60 years so we are able to create an end to end capability with certain uh, power and cap strength which is now well respected all over and many of the uh, highlights of the missions like the moon mission or the mission to mars have been you know one of the success stories how we achieved that now beyond this we are looking at a real significant scale up with the support of private industries that's why we are into into the public domain earlier we were more confined within the research and the technology domain but when we speak to uh, startups we talk to industries we talk to investors and uh, all this becomes important because we want to see this growth replicated in in companies and industries in in all, in all across the country and create some economic value out of all of this so it's not technology which is important it's finally the business sense and how the how it gives jobs you know uh, revenues and profitability to sustain itself so we realize this and that's why there is a big change so uh, spacex is the talk of the town and how do you feel this uh, dominance of this uh, corporate companies in the uh, space sector there is nothing wrong in that it has always been so in us uh, we are talking about us ecosystem but it's not replicated everywhere it's only in us this uh, uh, phenomenon is there and it has been so like the companies like lockheed martin boeing uh, mcclaw douglas all used to be there and we never used to talk to uh, talk about them it is because of the one person elon musk you are talking about spacex because he is leading from the front as a person but there were no single individual who was leading from the front in case of lockheed martin or mcclaw douglas or boeing okay so we never knew about them that's all uh, otherwise it has been always like that yes yes so how has uh, chandran 3's success contributed uh, to the india's you know uh, position in the global space exploration along with that what are the next steps in the india's exploration of the mars see chandran 3 really changed the narrative because we we were now seen as a power in terms of technology we are able to do it at very low cost we are able to engineer it everything in india without much of uh, global support so all of this uh, pl- uh, place raise our bar our expectations very high and every young people in india is inspired by this story so we will have to cash on it we have to make use of it in terms of participatory uh, work in the space so, so that's what we are on now sir how do you see the role of uh, private players in india because you already mentioned that uh, in the space program especially with the establishment of in space yeah private uh, ecosystem was already growing uh, for the last 10 years or so but nobody was looking at it in a very serious way but uh, with the creation of space uh, opening uh, as well as space policy and creation of in space we created a structured approach to support them so that's why there is a there is an encouragement and there is an energy in that sector now what are the opportunities you see the space startups in india there are many things uh, right from rocket building to applications but really the business sense is more into the application side and i believe that more and more companies in the application side will come in and uh, they will develop applications will be used by someone so that some business and turnover will happen which will drive the building of new satellites which will also drive the demand for more rockets and finally what is your ultimate vision uh, about india's uh, space mission see we would like to see a uh, very prosperous economic activity around space of course uh, my uh, very important my, you know news news generating missions are important but equally important is how it uh, su- support uh, the business ecosystem that's that's what i would like to see